All right, so we confirmed that the VGT works. So now what we're gonna do is reinstall the VGT on the computer. Then we're gonna calibrate it, see if it passes. If it passes, then we're gonna put everything back together and should be good to go. So the computer failed to install the actuator, which means we need to further diagnose the issue. Right now we're gonna start uh, with the wiring. We're gonna go all along the wiring and then we're gonna do the SEM and just figure out the problem from there. All right, so basically I'm just gonna check to make sure there's no faults in the wire. And I wanna make sure the diagram is correct to make sure the wires are in the correct position. All right, so we checked this wire. This wire is all good. So now the next step is going to be checking the second part of the wire, which runs from around there, goes to here and to the ECM. So that's a job for Monday, but basically I'm gonna take off the plug for off the ECM and start checking pins there. So uh, see you guys Monday. All right, good morning people. Um, we finally got the new VGT. Just checking all the parts, make sure everything's here. It is day three now. So uh, we're gonna get this uh, installed and try and install it on the computer. So let's hope it works. All right, so just as a recap, we checked the ECM, we know the ECM is good. We checked the engine harness, we know the engine harness is good. Then we popped off the actuator and checked the turbo, we know that's good. So last things last is the actuator. So we're going to hook up the actuator, we're gonna hook up the computer, and we're gonna see if, uh, if it's a faulty actuator.